Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source channel. Right, here's some good news. So, I'm starting a new series on AWS, um, Amazon Web Services. Um, I'm doing a couple of series in parallel, which is uh, Kubernetes that's ongoing. I started that series six months ago and uh, I've uploaded about 50 videos so far and it will continue to go. Uh, I've got lots and lots of videos to cover, concepts to cover in Kubernetes. And then there is another series that I started a couple of weeks ago, which is MongoDB. Um, I call it Monday Mongo because I release videos on Mondays. Okay, so one video every week on Monday for Kubernetes. That's an ongoing series. And one video every Monday uh, for MongoDB. So, uh, the MongoDB series, which I started a couple weeks ago, it's going to last for another couple more months, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll add another uh, six or eight videos. And then um, I'm now starting to concentrate on AWS. I've been working with AWS for more than two years. Um, I won't say I know all the concepts, all the services in AWS, but uh, majority of the services, uh, the essential ones like EC2, storage, database, um, uh, VPCs, and so on. So I've got some knowledge on that. The main idea for me, the main idea behind starting this series is to uh, give absolute beginners an idea of how to get started with AWS. So this is also going to help me uh, in learning more and more concepts. For example, uh, in the Kubernetes series, um, I really like the way you're interacting with me. Um, so it's not just recording the video and forgetting about it. So people, viewers uh, keep watching and then they keep asking comments, which makes me think about it, go back to my videos and check how I did it. Uh, so every time they ask uh, about the videos, it will be in my memory. So that's helping me as well, uh, like how it helps you. So that's the idea. I'm going to share my knowledge with the community uh, for AWS and I'm going to get back something from the community as well. Um, so whatever I have in my mind, I'm going to produce that as videos. And if you've got anything in your mind or if, if you notice that I'm doing something wrong, so that's the opportunity for me to learn from you guys, right? Okay, so this is the uh, series kickoff meeting, the first one. Uh, introduction to AWS. I'm not going to talk more about the AWS. So all my series, all my videos uh, focus on hands-on labs. I've seen lots of videos uh, in YouTube where they uh, talk, where they have a bunch of slides and they, they talk through those bunch of slides. Uh, that's too much of information for me. So what I need is if I need to learn something about AWS, uh, particularly something about a specific service or something, I don't want to see the bunch of slides. I don't want to learn those fundamentals. I just want to know how it's done, right? So that's hands-on. So that's going to be my focus um, on the AWS series. Okay, so I think I've done enough, uh, too much of talking for this first video. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create an AWS free tier account. So if you want to follow along this series along with me, just go ahead and create sign up for an AWS free tier account. So AWS free tier is free for 12 months. Uh, there are lots of services that they offer for free, which is uh, free for 12 months based on usage. So if you exceed the usage, uh, you're gonna end up paying for that. And if you go past the 12 months, if you expire the 12 months uh, period, then again, you're gonna uh, pay for that. So I've registered a couple of AWS accounts in the past two years just to make use of that 12 month free tier. There are also always free services that you can use free um, throughout your throughout the life cycle. So the main idea here is to get started by creating a AWS free tier account, right? Okay, so I've already got one. Uh, I'll just show you where to go and where to get an AWS free tier account. So search for AWS free tier sign up or just AWS free tier probably it will be the first link AWS free tier so as I told there are a few different options so there are services that are always free and there are services that are free for 12 months which is which comes under free tier and there are some trials uh, that you get from different software solutions which I don't know which I haven't actually used 
Okay, down here you get uh, the list of uh, free services, free tier enabled uh, services. So on the left here, if you select 12 month free, so this is what you get. So there are lots and lots of services that you can use. Amazon EC2, that's your uh, the virtual server that you can use. So 750 hours of uh, usage per month. So that roughly calculates to 24 hours a day. So you can just spin up one T2 micro, not a bigger machine, a T2 micro machine. So whenever you go to any specific AWS resources, it's going to tell you whether it's free tier eligible. So the, when you consider EC2 and if you go for T2 micro and you can just, uh, once you sign up, you can just start it and you can run without switching it off throughout the year. So that's going to uh, get counted under 750 hours per month for 12 months. So you can run continuously without turning it off. Obviously, that's just for the EC2, but uh, the uh, EBS volumes that you attach, uh, the network bandwidth that you are using, all that's going to get counted. You've got Amazon S3, RDS, Relational Database Service, uh, API Gateway, uh, CloudFront, uh, EFS, it's like NFS, Elastic File Store. There are so many of them. Elastic Block Storage, that's EBS, ECS, uh, Elastic Container Service, Elastic Container Registry, Elastic Cache Service. Um, there are so many which you can uh, go through on this page. Okay, what is always free? Just remove that and go to always free. So this one, Amazon DynamoDB is always free given uh, you can't exceed more than 25 gig, up to 25 gig and you can go here and look at the individual uh, restrictions. So that's uh, there. AWS Lambda function, that's serverless, just you create a function, deploy that, all the underlying resources, infrastructures are taken care of by uh, AWS. So AWS Lambda, 1 million requests per month. Simple notification service, CloudWatch, 10 custom metrics and 10 alarms. Um, Amazon Glazier, 10 GB of storage retrievals and all those things. So this is basically what you get when you sign up for your AWS account. Okay, so create a free account and then you're going to enter your email address, password, basically your personal information. And when you click continue, it's going to ask you whether you want to go with a business account or a personal account. Uh, go for a personal account and then uh, it's going to ask you for your payment details. Um, payment details is mandatory. So either you can use your credit card or debit card. And then I think they usually um, authorize some transaction about uh, $1, one cent or $1, I'm not sure. Just to make sure that your um, card details are valid. Uh, they don't actually take $1 or one cent or whatever it is. Uh, but that's just a virtual kind of transaction, um, but I'm not entirely sure about that, but just to verify that your payment card is valid. So usually your account takes up to 24 hours to get provisioned. The one that I created just before recording this video, um, I was able to sign up and the next couple of minutes I was able to log in, launch EC2 instances and do everything. Maybe because they know about my uh, debit card or credit card, which I've used for my uh, previous accounts. So they already verified my account, I think. Uh, so in the final page, you will get, after going through the payment details page, you will get a final page where you can select the subscription uh, status. Uh, you can go for a basic subscription, uh, which is free, or a business subscription, or there is one other subscription, which I can't remember. So once you've done all those things, you will have your AWS uh, console ready. So you can log into your AWS console. You can view your resources. Okay, let me quickly show you what my AWS console looks like. Okay, my account, AWS Management Console. And I'm going to log in here. So venkat.nagapan at outlook.com. Next, and my password. Okay, so I'm signing in now to my AWS console and you can see all my uh, all the services that are available. 
and I'm connected to Northern Virginia region. I'm going to change that to uh, EU London because I'm closer to London. Maybe you can choose. There are certain resources that are region specific. So if you create it in one region, it won't be available in another region. So you're free to select whatever region you want, but it's better to uh, select a region that's closer to you. So in my case, I'm going to select EU London. Okay, um, my original intention was to keep this first video very short, less than five minutes, but I think it took way longer. Okay, so that's my first video. I will see you all in my next video. Feel free to um, uh, suggest anything new or any topic. Any feedback, if you've got any doubts or anything, uh, leave me a comment. I should be able to get back to you. All right, cool. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.